Dr. Light, the fluffy bearded saint of science. Dr. Wiley, vengeful psychopath and evil genius. Once Mega City's most celebrated scientific partners, now a ruthless robotic rivalry. Join us as Secret Histories sheds new light on this dark corner of future history and decodes the complex algorithm of ambition and revenge. The year was 20XX, the age of robotic renaissance. Limitless technological innovations had introduced robotics into nearly every facet of daily life. All thanks to the great minds of the famed scientific duo, Dr. Thomas Light and Dr. Albert Wiley. Wiley and Light, they were the perfect team, way ahead of their time. Thomas was driven, but Albert, he was a genius. I mean, we were all geniuses, but he was a genius among geniuses. But as I always say, every genius is an idiot greatest scientific mind of our time. And what does he do? He starts a family. <sighs> Speaking of being an idiot, I gotta go chase around a blue chili dog eating hedgehog. Professor Wiley appeared to have it all. But while he clearly loved his family, Wiley's true devotion was to his work. It really was a tragedy. And so very unexpected. Poor, poor Professor Wiley. Dr. Wiley's son had fallen victim to an unmarked pitfall, an unfortunately common hazard here in Mega City, leaving him paralyzed and on the brink of death. The professor vowed never to leave his son's side again, becoming increasingly obsessed with his son's condition. <laughs> Filled with grief, his wife would eventually leave, making poor Professor Wiley very sad. Soon after LW Technologies was on the verge of bankruptcy, without the genius of Dr. Wiley, all Dr. Light could come up with was uh, this. To keep the company from going dark, Dr. Light was strong-armed into breaking his peacekeeping oath by accepting a top-secret military contract. Robotic suits for the military? Have you gone mad? For injured soldiers, Albert, returning from war, some hanging on by a thread. We made a promise. Yes, a promise to help people. Think of it. Paralyzed amputees given a second chance at life. And it wouldn't have to be just soldiers we help. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get to work! Computer, initiate Lights Out. Lights Out indeed. While all records of the company's activities were mysteriously erased, Secret Histories believes the following events occurred after Dr. Wiley concluded presenting the prototype. I give you the Mega Suit, the first true conduit between man and machine. Very impressive, Doctor. But is it battle ready? What? Of course, of course. Uh, this one's already been fitted with an arm cannon. Thomas? What's the meaning of this? You drove our company into the ground, Albert, and I had to make a decision. We were supposed to help people, not turn them into weapons. Be reasonable, damn it. We need the funding. And then it was too late. Is this what you want for my son? No, Albert, the core isn't stable. Reports of a massive explosion flood in from across Mega City. Don't worry, your vital signs are adequate, Doctor. Just how Dr. Wiley survived is still unclear. Albert! Albert! Facility logs indicate an escape pod was launched. Reports show one life form aboard the vessel. Vital signs are critical. Would you like me to track the escape pod, Doctor? What? No, there's no need for that. If he survives, he'll be back. Back for his son. Rock! After the incident, I shut down production of the Megasuits. With Rock's memory wiped in the blast, I've had to raise him as my own. It hasn't been easy, but it's the least I could do for my old friend. I thought if I could dedicate my life to the growth and development of Mega Man, I could somehow honor my promise to Albert. Albert, if you're alive, if you're listening, we are here for you. Me and your son. My son. My son? 
Oh, you were always an idiot. That blue abomination is no son of mine. No, Thomas. My son has been dead for years. You made sure of that. But I won't stop until he can rest. Once and for all! <laughs> around a blue chili dog eating hedgehog.